Hello everybody, it's the Lit Optimist, and today I'm talking about uh, running with scissors. <coughs> After writing and debuting a damn good novel, Cellavision, writer Augustine Burroughs decided to write a memoir, and boy, what a fucking life. Augustine lives, lives with his mentally unstable mother and his mentally absent father. Uh, when the two of them, with all their toxicity and nuclear level fights, decided to divorce, Augustine's mom, Deidre, Deidre, Deidre how do you say it, Deidre? Deidre? D-E-I-D-R-E? One second. I'm just. I just don't. Sure. Oh, English. Deidre. Deidre. Okay, cool. Deidre decides to take him to her psychiatrist, Dr. Finch. Dr. Finch is completely fucking nuts, and Augustine really doesn't like the guy, especially after visiting his carnival of a house with his wife Agnes, who he openly cheats on, and his crazy-ass children. So, of course, his mom leaves him to live with the Finch family. We follow Augustine from 12 years to his adulthood, where we see his self-discovery of his sexuality with a 33-year-old pedophile, the disgusting way he lived, and just the overall insanity of his life. Like, with a lot of memoirs and documentaries, it's kind of hard to believe. But if you suspend your disbelief for just a goddamn second, you'll lose yourself in a damn good read with lots of cringy slash hilarious slash beautiful moments. It's a train wreck, and I'm glad Augustine Burroughs was the conductor. I highly recommend it. Thanks go to Michelle Williams for requesting this book. It's fucking crazy. And I talked about um, this, I think, with my sister. I'm like, have you heard about Augustine Burroughs? And she's like, uh... No, I'm like, you heard with Running With Scissors? She's like, yeah, it's a crazy movie. I'm like, M movie? Um, which I kind of, I already knew about. I wasn't surprised. They made this fucking film. Joseph Cross as Augustin Burroughs. Annette Benning as uh, Deidre. 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 Brian Cox as Dr. Finch. Joseph Fiennes as Neil Bookman, Evan Rachel Wood, Natalie Finch, Allie Baldwin, Norman Burroughs, Jill Claver. Like, it's got a great cast, actually. Gabrielle Union, Gwen Paltrow, Patrick Wilson, fucking, um, The Conjuring. Yeah, what the fuck? Kristen Chenoweth, Dagmara Dominic. Uh, Colleen Camp. That name sounds very familiar. Why does it sound very familiar? Colleen Camp. Augustine Burroughs plays himself. Uh, directed. Um, screenplay by Ryan Murphy. Produced by Ryan Murphy. Ryan Murphy, of course, went on to make uh, American Horror Story. He did Scream. He did the Scream TV series. He did Dahmer. Uh, he did do Dahmer. I just I read that recently. Um, oh, Scream Queens. That's right. He did Nip Tuck. The fuck? He did Glee. Popular. Popular must have been a fucking flop. It only lasted for three years, barely. Uh, Nip Tuck. I remember Nip Tuck. I, I did not like that shit. Um, it's like, ugh. American Crime Story. Really? Pose 911. Now I'm getting lost into Ryan Murphy. Um. No, it's just a crazy, it's just a crazy fucking, um. Uh, adopted 33-year-old son, Neil Bookman. Yeah, they become like boyfriends. Ugh. Neil Bookman, a 33-year-old pedophile. He doesn't think he's being weird. He's, he's crazy. He's a mental patient. It's all fucked up, though. The whole thing is fucked up. And it's hard to, like, feel bad for him when um, Augustine starts. He says, I liked belittling him in the relationship and talking shit to him like you're a piece of shit you can't barely get a, you a small dick for a 33 year old it's, it's crazy
crazy. The whole thing, the whole thing is nuts. And uh, he had a lot of backlash from this. Uh, there's a legal case. In 2005, the family of Dr. Rodolph, Rodolph H. Turcott, 1919 to 2000, he was born 1919. Lord, of Massachusetts filed suit against Burroughs and his publisher, alleging defamation of character and invasion of privacy. They stated that they were the basis for the Finch family portrayed in the book, but that Burroughs had fabricated or exaggerated various descriptions of their activities. The case was later settled with Sony Pictures Entertainment prior to the release of the film adaptation. Burroughs and his publisher settled with the Turcotte family in August 2007. Turcotte were reportedly seeking damages of $2 million. Turcotte's alleged running with scissors was largely fictional, written in a sensational manner. Burroughs defended his work as entirely accurate, but agreed to call the work a book instead of a memoir. In the author's note, to alter the acknowledgments page and further additions to recognize the Turcotte family's conflicting memories of described events and express regret for any unintentional harm to the Turcotte family. Burroughs felt vindicated by the settlement. I'm not at all sorry that I wrote the book, and you know, the suit settled, it settled in my favor. I didn't change a word in the memoir, not one word of it. It's still a memoir, it's marketed as a memoir, they have agreed 100% that it is a memoir. Why would you out yourself like that, you know what I mean? Like, hey, we were the basis of that. We shut the fuck up. How about you not talk about how your dad had a room in his home slash office where he, in his house with his kids, he saw patients, mentally ill people. How about you not fucking mention that, hey, we were based on the guy that had a room off to the side from his main office where he would see patients called the masturbatorium where he would jerk off. He even talk, he even told Augustine at one point in the book, when he first meets him, he's like, he tries to talk to him as a patient, and he's like, come on, what the fuck? What's, and then he's like, hey, you should, uh, are you, are you stressed? Do you need to, do you need to masturbate? And he's like, what? And he's like, yeah, you can go over here. Fucking insane. But television was a beautiful beginning. This was wild from start to finish, I think. It might just be his best memoir, yeah. Yeah. It's so fucking crazy. Um, most shocking, of course. Um, I'm so happy that Michelle requested. I guess, thank you, Michelle. I, it's, it's unbelievable. Has he written anything recently? I think I checked this last time when I reviewed it at Television. Um... No, not since 2019, unfortunately. Um, you guys have a good one, and take care.